Hey everybody, the workout today at Linchpin is a hero workout entitled Wade. And I literally just finished it. I finished it one minute ago and my breathing is at this level. I feel perfectly fine because I did today's workout even though it was a hero workout at probably what I would say is a rate of perceived exertion of six, very low intensity conversational pace the entire time because that was the day that I needed. And out of the five workouts that I do every week, I've been very vocal about this. I only try to burn it down and push the pace with intensity, high intensity, two out of five workouts. It's only 40%. So most of my workouts during the week are not high intensity. And doing that allows me to work out for decades without burning out. It's smart for my knees, back, and shoulders. And then it actually allows me to be rested and ready on the days that I'm gonna bring the high intensity. I can bring high intensity because I don't try to do it every day. This is the way that I wish I'd been doing CrossFit from when I first started, but I just didn't know any better. And these are the things that we do and we teach and we educate our community about in Lynchman. So if you're not modulating your intensity, I would, I would strongly recommend that you consider it. I found it to be profoundly beneficial and uh, a key to be doing this for a long period of time. But Wade is for a fallen soldier. Uh, Andrew Wade was his name. And of course you can Google his story if you want. But uh, you know, there's a real person behind every hero workout. I'm a veteran myself. I don't take it lightly, but I also don't feel any, I don't know, external pressure to perform a workout prescribed or with a particular amount of intensity, if I feel like doing so would be negligent and an idiotic thing for me to do for my body or capacities on any particular day. That's it. So today was a day I, need, I needed low intensity. That's what I did and happened to be a hero workout. I also scaled it. I don't have any problem scaling a hero workout either. Again, I'm not gonna make a bad decision on any workout. I'm gonna do whatever makes sense for me to stay fit, happy, and healthy for as long as humanly possible. Wade's a great workout though. It's a 1200 meter run, then four rounds of 12 strict pull-ups, 12 strict dips, 12 strict handstand push-ups. There's four rounds of that. And then you end with another 1200 meter run. So, and you're supposed to do it with a vest if you have one. I wore a weight vest today, 20 pound vest, still did a low intensity workout with the vest, conversational pace the whole time. Strict pull-ups actually felt great, felt strong. The strict ring dips felt great, felt strong. I don't do handstand push-ups. I've got bad shoulders from the military motorcycle wrecks. Getting into that position would be negligent and stupid for my body. So I'm not gonna do something negligent and stupid just to say I did a workout prescribed. So I just pressed in a different direction. I did six dumbbell bench press with a pair of 65 pound dumbbells in place of the strict handstand push-ups each round. And after the nine strict ring dips, that bench press was miserable. It was very tough, loved it, it was great. And so, yeah, that's my scaled, moderate to low intensity hero workout. And it was the right call for me. And with all due respect for hero workouts, again, as a veteran myself and those who served, 100%. Um, but don't, don't make a bad choice through some peer pressure or let your ego get in the way of what's a good call for you. And I would encourage anybody in the Lynchman community to talk about modulating intensity. So today's Friday. You know, every Friday I record a video entitled Modulating Intensity for the upcoming week's workouts where I walk through all the workouts and then I tell you my plan for each one of them and which of the couple, which of the five I intend to get after which ones will be low intensity, which ones will be moderate intensity, you know, to kind of walk the walk and talk the talk. So that's posted in our private Facebook group and in the BTWB squads feature. So I would highly encourage you watch that piece of content so that we can all be working out happy and healthy 10 years from now. So if you hit the workout, let me know how it goes. If you had to modify it in one way, shape or form, post that in the comments. I always find it interesting to see how people make these things fit their lives. And I guess tomorrow's the weekend. Enjoy your weekend.